So you think you found a meteorite, eh? A lot of people think they found meteorites. As it turns out, these rocks from space are actually pretty rare, and a lot of Earth rocks can masquerade as the real thing. Today I'm going to show you a few tips when it comes to figuring out if a rock is a meteorite from space or a meteorong from Earth. On the table here, I have four rock samples. One of these is a meteorite, while the others are imposters. The first easy test only requires that you pick up the rock. Does it feel unusually heavy for its size? It could be a meteorite. Ooh, nope. The second test is to use a standard fridge magnet. Most meteorites will attract a magnet. Ooh, this one doesn't. The last test is to look closely at the rock. Does it contain any bubbles or holes? Definitely not a meteorite. Does the rock have a sort of eggshell-like crust on it? A dark one. Maybe where it's flaked off, you see some lighter colored interior. It almost certainly is a meteorite. This one is. If you've done these tests yourself and you think your rock is a meteorite, visit the website at the bottom of the screen. There you can fill out a form and upload some photos which an expert like me can look at. So I said to him like three times, like it's not a meteorite. Like how many times do I have to do it? Oh, you're still here. Oh, come on in. Let me show you something. If we look really closely at this actual meteorite, you can see the outside, this fusion crust. That's the eggshell type thing I talked about. It forms in the atmosphere as this rock comes screaming through it, like 60,000 kilometers an hour. The outside heats up and it forms a glass that then quenches to a solid as the rock's coming down. But it doesn't really affect the inside. That's why we have this dark crust on here and it often flakes off where you can see little bits of the actual rock on the inside. If you see something like that on a rock, give me a call.